Yeah, g'day viewers, Prospector Pete here. Um, today I'm going to teach you how to, or show you how to remove the gold from these copper heat sinks which come off uh, processors. Um, some people think that they're not a very thick coating, but they're actually, they're actually quite thick. If, uh, if you was to soak that in nitric acid until it's all gone, being copper, uh, it's nickel coated by the way, but if you soaked it in nitric acid, you'd find a nice thick gold foil floating in instead of um, little pieces if it was a thin one. Plus you can tell it's quite dark in colour. If, if it was a thin coating, it wouldn't be that dark. And so I've got um, sulfuric acid, 98% sulfuric acid. Unfortunately, it's all dirty because I recycle my acids. So I apologise for the fact that you won't be able to actually see the gold coming off. But I can show you the heat sink when the, when the gold's gone then you'll be able to tell and um, so I'm using a computer power supply and I've got 12 volt running from the power supply to the, the clip here negative and a positive um, all I do is I just I don't know if it matters if it's touching the gold I just put it on the copper like that and don't bust a gut because I've got no gloves on. Um, firstly, I'm not going to be touching the acid. There's no way, no reason for it to splash. So there's no danger involved. But mainly, uh, as I put in my other video, um, I've donated my respirator and my gloves and everything to the hospital because of the pandemic. So all I've got to do is just be really careful. It's a pretty easy job. This is not going to splash anywhere. Now when you put it in there, you instantly start seeing bubbles, so you know it's working. Um, the closer you get, the more bubbles, the further away you get less. Um, I put it right in there, so the gold's covered. Um, you can see that all the tin from the solder first gets eaten off. What I did was I, I heated these up, there was a crystal die in the middle. And I heated them up with a, a heat gun so that the solder melted and then you just wipe them off, they drop off. So you can see here three levels copper in the middle where the gold is all missing, and then the gold on top still. If I turn this around, to that side, and go again. And I want to get all that gold off, and I want to get all the nickel off, back to copper. I want to put the copper into my uh, stock pot. Doesn't take very long, as you can see. You can have it on a lower voltage, like 6 volt, 3 volt, whatever. But it all goes pretty quick on 12. There's a stubborn bit of gold underneath where the solder was. It has, it, you have to get rid of the solder first before it can come off. Yeah, unfortunately it's not clear so you can't see it. I'd like to be able to have you see it. Uh, $88 a barrel, a barrel. I can't just keep going out and racing racing out and getting those every five minutes. And it's part of the reason why I put it in the description of my videos. If uh, if you're in a position to help me contribute to my PayPal account, then I can have money to go and buy um, better things to make better videos for you guys. Um, I don't see any reason why you can't use acid twice or even three times or whatever but for the purpose of the video obviously it would be better if it was clear uh, it goes to show people that you don't need to waste acids they can be reused um, once once I'm done with all this uh, I pour this solution into a bucket of water carefully and the color of, of the sulfuric acid should just blend in with the water and I should hopefully see all the gold sitting at the bottom of the bucket. There's still some gold there, just uh, the silver, the solder is sort of inhibiting it, so I'll just get a bit longer. But you can see where the dye is missing, all the gold's gone, it came straight off. All I'm using on this end is a, a, a lead sinker for fishing. I tried to hammer it out, but uh, it's pretty stubborn. Um, I was going to heat it up with a torch and 
pour it into some sort of mould that I can make a flat thing. I haven't got anything to pour it into, any sort of mould of any kind, not, not to suit that. Um, the bubbling, bubbling's all stopped now, so I'm assuming it's decided to finish with that one. But the heat sink's nice and clean, so that's a good thing. Um, I might just turn it around this side and try one more time. Very, very small bubbles. But that's okay, because in my stock pot, that'll eventually drop out. That gold will come off. I may even try and heat it up with a heat gun again and get some more of that solder off and get, go again with it. I'll do that later after the, I'll do all these. So put a new one on. And go again straight away, a whole pile of bubbles. So you can't go too long, it'll tell you basically when to stop, when there's no bubbles left. See all the solder coming off. There's a big pile of gold brazing underneath it. There's actually a lot more gold in these things than what people think. You probably can't see there in the camera, but around that black square, I can see a nice thick gold brazing. These are perfect for my stock pot. It's what you want, thick co um, go on copper plate. So you can see there, if I bring it closer, you see the, co the gold around the outside's gone, but there's thick gold brazing around the r rectangle there. Turn it around now. Do the other bit because I want to um, get that nickel off as well. You don't need a very big uh, container to do this in. I was going to use a small beaker, but the the sinker doesn't reach up the tight to the top of the, the beaker. So there you go. You can see how easy it is. I'll wipe that off a bit. Uh, I'm hoping you can see on the camera there is still some gold brazing around that rectangle. So I'm definitely going to try and heat these up again with the heat torch and see if I can get more of that solder off. So I'll get through the rest of these and then come back to you. Um, if you're worried about using sulfuric acid, and there's nothing wrong with that because sulfuric acid is pretty nasty stuff, you can do this with um, a mixture of salt water and vinegar. So just dilute some salt into some hot water, as much salt as you can get to dissolve in a glass of water. And put some distilled water or normal water into the, into the container. And tip in your salt water and then the same quantity of vinegar into the water. And that'll work fine. And that's a lot safer obviously, it's like having salt and vinegar on your chips. It won't matter if you get it on your skin, you don't need gloves or respirators or anything like that. There's no smell coming off this, by the way. Um, I'm sitting right next to it, as you can tell. I'm not, I'm not getting any fumes. I can't smell anything. You can see it's pretty safe. As long as you're slow, take your time with it. Don't throw things in there and it's not going to splash up at you. It's, uh, it's pretty easy going. So I'm getting through them now. I've done half a dozen or so. That little bit of gold that's on there still, all that'll come out in the, in the stock pot. 
the acids will eat the rest of the solder when the copper's completely gone all that gold will just be floating in the bottom or that will get dissolved with the acids too so I'll be able to recover more of this out of the stock pot I mean, as I said before this sort of tells you when to stop um, it'll bubble like crazy at first like it is now and then the bubbles will die off and you'll know when it's done it doesn't take very long probably a minute on each one I was hoping that on the back of these crystal dies there'd be some bond wires but then I'd, I'd say they're still in there where all that gold's uh, brazing is this one here so it's still got a lot of gold brazing on there you can see it in this one so there's still more gold to get yet and you can see on that one there big pile of gold brazing still there there's actually a whole lot of gold on here and most people think there's nothing on them even when I first saw them, I thought, oh, that'd be a light coating. Surprising how thick it really is. This is an easy way to get some gold. Unfortunately, not every P uh, CPU has got one. Uh, I've got quite a number of these heat sinks that don't have any gold on them. Which is unfortunate. that's okay because it's all copper for my stock pot and go through copper pretty crazy see that one's all done doesn't take long and it's easy to sit here comfortably on a chair for people who are let's say impatient and they want things done straight away instead of waiting hours for acids to work well, this is probably for you, because you can see it happens pretty quick. Um, what you've got to remember to do when you're finished is to wash, uh, firstly, the clips where the acid's been in there. Um, also, the, the lead sinker. You've got to wash all that in water, otherwise if you leave the acid on, it's just going to keep eating it, and next time you go to get it, there'll be nothing left. There are... Uh, for this type of glass vessel there are some lids that go on them uh, three tips he's pretty good at doing this and I've seen him using these same vessels with a, a, a plastic lid and you can you can just put the lid on it and keep the, the acid like it is for next time until you've got quite a bit of gold in there uh, but I've only used a tiny bit I've got a bit more outside so I'll just tip this straight into water get my gold out of it See, it's done. A quick set. That one's done. I've only got a few more to go now. Two, four, five, six. I don't really want to get the clip on the gold, but we'll see how that goes. So there's a big coating, that one it takes up the whole square. And that's really good. And then look at this one here. There's hardly any on there. Oops, sorry. Didn't mean to do that this is a nice one look how much gold on that and this one nice I can see uh, black stuff floating in the acid and that could be one of two things it's probably some of this black, black silicon or whatever it is that they stick these to the the CPU with. I, mean, I suppose it could be some solder but I know that a lot of it's going to be the gold because the gold does drop as a black powder. That one's done. And um, I'll just drop these um, copper heat sinks into some water when I'm done. Wash them off, get the acid off them so I can just chuck them straight in my stock pot. I don't know how long it's going to take for the gold to settle in the water. I wouldn't imagine too long. You know, pretty heavy, it'll sink to the bottom and 
Uh, like I said before, I'm hoping that the, the colour of the acid will just disperse into the water. And I'm hoping it doesn't all just sit on the bottom. Shouldn't do. But uh, either way, I'll just treat um, all the solids that land on the bottom with uh, nitric. Um, I should leave my gold behind. Might even try, because there's a uh, solder, I might even try uh, H HCL first, because the solder will get rid of the tin. So that'll probably be my first call. Whatever solids there are, I'll soak them in uh, HCL first. That'll be a better way to go for sure. After this one, three more to go. I was looking for some brass or copper fly screen to make a basket and do the same thing but with pins and yeah, other gold plated items um, without having to go and buy it, as I've said many times now. Being on a pension, can't really afford to just go and buy stuff when I want. Um, I have found some aluminium fly screen. Now, unfortunately, I think aluminium will just be eaten up straight away. It'll probably just just fall apart. But I will try and see if it works. Might surprise me. And if it does work, I've got some pins and things like that, that I can I can uh, make another video for. And there's pe people out there who are probably saying, well, how can you be so broke if you've got all this gold? Well, the gold pays the bills, keeps the power going, keeps the roof over my head. It's crazy how the bubbles all stop. You hear them fizzing and bubbling and then it just sort of stops and it says, right, I'm done now. There's a whole pile of brazing on that one. Can you see that? Big pile of brazing, gold brazing. But it doesn't want to touch it, so that'll have to get done in the stock pot. I did get a heat gun. When I turned the camera off, I did get a heat gun onto that. Uh, it got a little bit more solder off, but it didn't improve the ability to get to the gold because there's still some solder there. Sometimes you get a bad connection, you just gotta move it to another spot. That's better. See like that? No, no bubbles before, and as soon as I moved it and got a better connection, started up again. bubbles are slowing down I've got a heap of solids forming on the on the lead and some of them look like copper color so there may be a bit of copper coming off one more to go Okay, that's done. So what I'll do now is I'll get a bucket of water and I'll pour the acid in. Put these things in there as well. They can get washed in there. I'll wash the tips of these. And uh, hopefully there's something more to show you. Now I'm sure most of you are aware, but for those who aren't, uh, please be very, very careful when you're pouring acid anywhere near water especially um, sulfuric acid 
sulfuric acid is exothermic it uh, reacts violently with water and you always add acid to water never water to acid always so now I will pour the acid in there very carefully so I don't splash I've already put the sinker in there and washed it off and there was a ton of solids built up on the on the lead which could mostly be gold but some of it's bound to be copper and nickel solder let's give this a bit of a rinse out and there we have it Put all these in there. See, I'm putting it right near the water before I drop it. If I drop it up here, it'll splash like crazy. And, uh, it's just a waiting game now for the water to clear up all the solids to fall to the bottom it's safe to touch now because it's 400 times more water than than there is acid just trying to get all the solids that are floating to sink to the bottom and uh, wait and see now Get the get the solids off the bottom and treat them. That's all there is to it. And and this, by the way, uh, this solution now is perfectly safe to pour down the drain because once you've got all your stuff out of it, of course, um, sulfuric acid is drain cleaner. So there's no reason why this couldn't be poured down the drain. But uh, I'm going to try and get the acids out of it, for the metals out of it first. All right, guys. That's pretty much all I can show you. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. I know they all say it, but I really do need some subscribers. I need tons and tons of subscribers. Um, you can see it all settling on the bottom now. Doesn't take very long. Alrighty, catch us on the next one.